Sex trafficking, it's a multi-billion dollar industry that doesn't discriminate based on age, color, or nationality. Experts estimate 25% of all human trafficking in the U.S. happens in Texas. Law enforcement officers say it's a problem here because the I-10 corridor cuts through the Golden Triangle. KFDN's Leslie Rangel is investigating. She joins us live in studio. Leslie? Yes, Greg. To understand human trafficking, you have to know the story of its victims. We'll call her Amy, and we've concealed her identity. It's a story of modern-day slavery. Amy grew up in southeast Texas, went to college, and got married. She also developed a drug habit. What kind of drugs? Crack, cocaine. And after a 2002 divorce, she had to find a new supply for her addiction. You know, found somebody on the street, you know, you go do that. And found somebody and he was like, yeah, I'll take you there. And when he did, he was like, you know, oh, well, I'll get you this and take, give you that, you know, try to keep you around. The divorce left Amy scared and alone. Then she found someone who said they would take care of her. And then all of a sudden he said, well, the only way to get any more drugs is to sleep with this person. And I said, well, I'm not going to, I can't do that. Well, I was drugged and did it, had to do it. And at the age of 22, Amy was forced into a life of prostitution. He was considered the 11th Street pimp. That's what all the cops called him. They knew him, knew who he was, and they knew what he did, but they couldn't catch him in the process of doing it. Amy walked up and down 11th Street day and night. It runs underneath the I-10 corridor. And if I didn't, I would get beat. I've had my nose broke. I've had the whole side of my face black. I've had my collarbone broke. And the only way for me to eat, find anywhere to sleep or anything was to do that. A never ending cycle. I've lived under the bridges and I've tried several times to get out. One time in the middle of 7th Street, he found me and kicked me in the face and the ribs. I tried to call my parents. He told me if I contacted them, he would kill me. Amy's family never stopped looking for her. My mom would drive up and down the street looking for me, found me and talked to me. And as soon as she drove off, I got beat. A life in terror she didn't live alone. How many of y'all were there? About 30, if not more. I think the youngest I saw was 12. I am pregnant. After six years, Amy was desperate to get out. I kept praying, please just get me, help me get out of here. I just want to get out because I couldn't find a way out. A way out of what she calls life in slavery. Amy was on the street for six years through what she calls hell on earth. Just one of the thousands of victims of sex trafficking. Stay with us Sunday night at 10 for the weekend report to hear how Amy escaped her slavery. We'll also hear more from advocates who are creating awareness about trafficking and what you can do to help. Reporting live in the studio, Leslie Rangel, KFDM 6 News.